So, like I uh, soon said, we took the official there. I think what got me was the snowmobiling. <laughs> when we were snowmobiling. Mm-hmm. I, think, I think you came with us too, Zach. I think that was the time you came with us. Yeah, that's when I came. I think all three up. went up. Yeah, I think all three went up there. And we were snowmobiling. I think that stamped it. I think mm-hmm. I was locked in from there. I mean, it's crazy because yeah, when we like committed and when we signed, that's when we started. That's when I started getting more offers from somewhere like UCF, Michigan. I'm like, bro. But at the time, I'm like, you know what? Like, like Snoop said, it's meant to be. Yeah. Like we signed for a reason. We really loved it when we went up there. It was straight love when we went up there. And I don't regret anything. And I'm glad I went to Utah. I love Utah to death. Utah was yeah, beautiful. Yeah. We yeah. met a lot oh, of people. We met a lot of friends. Like. Bro, a lot of connections. Blue. Man, we could, we mm-hmm. could go back. We could go back there right now, mm-hmm. and it still be straight love from fans and everywhere, bro. Like, yeah, that's I'm real. I'm so grateful that I went there. So blessed that we went there. I want to yeah. take nothing back. Yeah, yeah, none. Not one second. Yeah. The snowmobile was definitely. That's, bro, that was that for me. Yeah, that was when we, got off, me. when we got off the snowmobile and then, bro, the snow was turning like my stomach, bro. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, man. That's what yeah, did not, it. Yeah, the for snowmobile sure. definitely is what did it for me because I remember I was committed to Miami, what, my junior year of high school, and then... I bet you glad you didn't go there. You went, what? <laughs> <laughs> Hey, we got some we got some some boys, uh some dudes on the team out here that went to the U. And I'd be like, yo, y'all is ass. That don't make no sense. Like, it don't make no sense. Them boys don't belong to App State. But like what's wrong with their culture now? Like, what's what changed? Ain't nothing. Ever since they changed? knocked down the orange bowl, everything changed. You know what changed? Everybody got the social uniforms. media. The uniforms poo. I don't like that Adidas stuff. Just, you know, <laughs> you know um, what I mean? Yeah. Our golden that man went down. He said he ain't getting nobody from Broward and did. He really didn't. He really yeah. didn't. He was terrible, and that's when I was committed there. I was committed with him, and I never really like like mm-hmm. his vibe. Like I never like, you know what I mean? Like I ain't I ain't really understand him on hundred percent. The only reason I was like committed there is because one, it was the you. Want like you know Just what I mean? And then being yeah, being from there, uh, and then Coach uh, Harris, um, you know, the run, he was the running back coach at the time, and that was the biggest reason. I was like, because me and him was talking all the time, and I'm like, all right, for sure. Like they had Mark Walton, uh, I believe they had Year B at the time, and then I was coming into a class with a few more, uh, like I think two more running backs, I think, and then um, they had another guy already. For the next class um and that's when we had our class my class that i if i would have ended up going there it would have been me bruce sam bruce um michael irvin son mm-hmm. um they had uh three linebackers um quarterman and some other dudes i can't remember the name right now but like the class was super stacked but what they was doing with the talent they already had <clears throat> was a was a big red flag because none of the dudes was really developing, you know what I mean, like the way they needed to. And then I think for me, when the day I ended up decommitting, mentally anyways, was when they played Clemson at home. And I think they lost like 60 to zip, right? Like I went to the game, they invited me to the game. They're like, yeah, come to the game, blase, blase. And I'm sitting in the game and I'm like, bro, (laughs) these people is getting killed by (laughs) another school but like blown out, like blown out. I like I I can't remember the score, but it was 2016. They played Clemson. I think it was like 60 to seven, bro. I was like, yo, why would I want to come here? <clears throat> you know, outside of everything else that you know, being in Miami and all that type of stuff. You know, why would I want to come here? So mentally, that day I checked out. Like I remember going to Sonics, and. <laughs> I finished watching the game on the TV and Sonics, bro. I ain't even gonna lie. I was like, well, you know, this you go to Sonics with bad day. Bro, bro. <laughs> I was like, this is this is not it. Like 100 percent this is not it. And I'm like, yeah, this ain't gonna work. And then I ended up, I don't know whenever I got the Utah offer. Um, I know it was we were still in season. Um, 
I believe. I think y'all had went up there already, though, again, before that, like during the season, because mm-hmm. y'all brought back cleats and some gloves. Yeah, yeah, we went to Utah State versus Utah. Yeah, see, y'all had went up there already, and mm-hmm. y'all brought back some stuff, and I was uh, – I remember wearing the cleats – and the gloves in a game, uh, the playoff game that we lost. Um, and then for me, I waited to the last, kind of last minute. Um, Cause I ended up taking my first visit. I only took two visits. Um, and that's kind of something I wish I would have did over is take more visits because yeah, I don't know how much it would have, would have changed anything for me yeah. per se, but I know, taking more visits like i could have went i should have went to kentucky like just to check that out like see how that was but like i only took two and then i went to tennessee uh in tennessee i don't even know how i didn't go to tennessee like i don't know how that made any sense not to go there like they stadium held a hundred thousand people in it for one and I then think he was heavy on going there though he was about to go there was he bro what like i was like <clears throat> Like fifty one forty nine, that's how I was. Mm-hmm. I'm like, I don't know, cause I went. Now I remember when I went, cause I went there before, uh, before I came to Utah, or after. I don't remember. Um, and Pablo kept hitting me up. He's like, "Hey, what you doing? <laughs> <laughs> how you doing? <laughs> like, don't don't forget about us and all the type of stuff." Because like, when like Utah at the time, you know, like before we got there, they were. They had just joined the Pac-12 not too many years before, you know what I mean? They was kind of just getting the feet wet in the Pac-12, right? So when they was getting mm-hmm. dudes like us to come all the way from Florida to some cold-ass weather, you know, they was going to do everything possible to make sure that they understood, that, you know, that they communicated with us that, you know, the love was real, right? Like it wasn't no, no smoke. Like this is real life love right here. And I remember Pablo was hitting me up, texting me like the whole night. And I'm like hanging out with because my uh my host when I went to Tennessee was Alvin Kamara. Like I'm up there with him. This man got a a, a, a Camaro, like he got a whole crib to himself. Like I'm like, damn, SEC money different. <laughs> I'm like, you ain't even gotta be winning in the SEC, like you just gotta be in SEC. <laughs> Like these, like these things was working out in phone posits. Phone posits heavy as hell for one, so I'm not working out of them. But they was working out in phone posits, right? Like that was team issued shoes, phone posits. And then I ended up going to the to the head coach house. This dude had a three story house, right? Like everything was just like different. Tennessee was super nice, and my cousin was going there at the same time. So you know that kind of gave me some type of familiarity um and type of you know being comfortable to go there with somebody and i was like bro like i went to i don't party at all and i ended up going to one of the parties there (laughs) i ended up going to one of the parties there and i'm like man i need to hurry up and go the hell out of here real fast because the way them people party like uh, josh dobbs i think it was his birthday Dog, it was so many people, like, at the party. Like, it was, like, it was crazy as hell. Like, the whole SEC, like, culture was so different um, from what we experienced, uh, I think. But for me, going to Utah was pretty much because of y'all two. Like, that locked it in. Because when y'all was going there, y'all was sending me texts talking about, oh, yeah, this and this, this and that. Like this is what it looked like. I was, I'm like, bro, I'm trying to come in and start. Like, you feel me? Like, I ain't trying to, you know, sit back and wait my turn. Like, none of it was like that. Like, we all played as friends. We like, yeah, we ain't coming in trying to sit back and, you know, be a part of the process. Think of like a process True. where we try to get it in right now. <laughs> like, first me yeah. they, I remember first me boy, that was so tough because. They was not messing with me, boy. They was not messing with me, boy. I was. They didn't want to practice. <laughs> I said, hey, I ain't starting. They didn't want to practice. What's the point? <laughs> <laughs> I said, ain't no point. Oh, like, what we doing here? What we doing? I'm out. Why? He talking about, oh, make sure you run 50 yards down the field. 
I'm like, bro, what I'm finna run all the way down there for? Then had to come back and take another rep. Nah, that ain't it. You're not paying me to do that for one. Right. And two, <laughs> I'm not even the starter. So why would I need to go down there and do that? So I'm like, yeah, that's that's not finna happen. But I mean, our time at Utah, I felt, I mean, you know, people always called us the Hollandale Trio. Um, and obviously when we was playing, when we was there, like we would never like really like thought about it. At least I know I didn't. I wasn't thinking about like, oh, Hollandale Trio, you know, all the stuff we was doing on the field and, you know, off the field and all that type of stuff. I wasn't like, yeah, that was cool, all that type of stuff. And mm-hmm. we was someone was probably like, yeah, that name is lame. Like, I need mean, to mess with that name. But now being two, pretty much two years removed from being there, um, you know, pretty much what do y'all think about y'all time there? Um, like, just if you can recall all four years that we was there. And it felt like it went by super fast. <laughs> Um, but like, what do y'all recall about being in Utah? Um, what was y'all favorite memories? Um, if it was, you know, certain games, cause I got some certain games, uh, <laughs> I got some certain games. Um, uh, so, but let me know. Shoot, I, it was, it was just, I, now that I look at it, I thought it was so like, for me, lit that, uh, we real there went to college so far away from home, like, and we was just out there living, like, you know what I mean? Like, we would wake up every day and it's like a new challenge, like, and mm-hmm. I just thought that that was so, like, crazy. And I don't remember, I don't know if y'all remember that post I had posted. I posted the same little picture. It was us three. I said, they didn't even know it, but we was legends, you feel me? When we mm-hmm. thought of that, but, like, we real deal went far away from home, <laughs> bro, and that's, it's so crazy, like. Legends, so um, like real deal legends, cause we got the Hollander trio. But like, I feel like we should have, we should have admired that more in college. But we didn't, we didn't, we, we feel me, we ain't like, we ain't on none of that. Like, we not like that though. Yeah, yeah. that's what I'm saying. Yeah. That's what I'm yeah. saying. Like we ain't like that. But like, I know, I know for me, like you feel me, I, I definitely like felt like we, like I was more getting through every day. Rather than you feel me cherishing every day in Utah, cause I'm like, bro, another day in Utah. You know what I mean? It was like, yeah, another day, no it. dollars. You, me, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm gonna make the best of it though. Like, I made mean, the best of it every day out there. Like, I felt like it was it was crazy. Like, but like we met as well, and I say this cause, bro, remember Stafford game film? What that was, Junior? Yeah. Junior, yeah. I turned around to this man. I said, bro. Break this hole. I said, break this. <laughs> I told that boy, break this hole. I said, break this hole, cuz. That boy said, all right. Handed it to that boy, that boy struck. Oh, I said, bro, we is lit, bro. Like, bro, we some legends, bro. That's crazy. Like, I could tell my kids that, bro. It was that moss broke that hole when I told her to break that hole. <laughs> like, that was lit, bro. <laughs> we, we, we definitely blessed to even get that opportunity just to meet the different yeah. people that we met. You feel me? Because we, we met some people, bro, and uh, that's crazy. Like that helped. That helped us in the life that we live in now. Mm-hmm. Everything yeah. in Utah helped me with the life that I'm living now, um, and I, I, I'm blessed to even stand on that and say that. That's facts. That's that's facts for sure. Mm-hmm. Tomorrow. Um. What it was? What was this question, man? Best experience? <laughs> <laughs> what it was? Yeah, yeah, like your time there and like, you know, any memories that you got and stuff like that. Um, bro, it's the same thing y'all said, bro. Like, words can't really explain like how good it was and how yeah. blessed we are to even get there. Like, we, we started off this podcast talking about where we come from. Like, if you're not from Miami, you won't understand. But if you're from here, like, people that's watching this from here would know, like, we came a long way. Yeah. And we blessed to even make it out to Utah. But at Utah, I'm just – just the uh, culture we had. I feel like we changed the culture when we got there. Honestly. Yeah, we did. 
I feel like we brought swag to Utah. Yeah. yeah, in my opinion, I may be wrong, but I don't know. That's how I feel. But um, you ain't lying, you ain't yeah, bro. Lying. Like, you hey, lying. <laughs> for real. But um, I think my best experience was seeing night. Mm. For sure, seeing oh. night for sure. Mm. Seeing night yeah. was my uh, best experience when we all scored and all that. Yeah, that's how it's, it's all. It's like we started that together, played as freshmen, and we ended it together. Like nobody yeah, transferred, yeah. everybody stuck it out mm-hmm. through all the ups and downs. Like Zach said, you ain't start off how you wanted to. Snoop, you was frustrated because you wasn't playing. Yeah. I had my ups and downs like throughout the season. Like and then we just stuck it out, bro. Then we ended it like that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And right. I, uh, that's crazy because I be I be forgetting that we we, we all scored. Oh, we, we, in uh, our we, last game we, inside uh, the stadium. We, like that's yeah, bro. I think that's crazy. If that's not destiny, <laughs> I don't know what oh, is. Man. Like, yeah, like man. I wouldn't. I, I sometimes I'd be like, man, like this, like that. You know, we in now. You know, and all that type of stuff. I'm like, it's cool, right? But now you kind of just know it's more of like a business. You feel business. me? Like in college, like yeah, everything yeah. was like more just like relaxed. You know what I mean? Like we was love. like we was real love. life, just playing ball. Like, and sometimes you really gotta like bring yourself back to that, but. Utah was definitely love for sure. I mean, mm-hmm. from yeah. like you said, like the people that we met. Um, you know, like if we go back there tomorrow, like you know, what I mean, it's gonna be things is gonna be taken care of. Straight love, no questions asked. Park like cafe. it's gonna be <laughs> what? Like park cafe things is locked and loaded. Like me, uh, we gotta take I, that trip. Hey, I gotta go definitely. back every year. So you let me know. <laughs> I gotta go back. Yeah, every boy, year. let me know. I'm there too. Like, <laughs> you know, just from there. So I ain't got no choice but to go back every year. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. I'm there all the time. Like I just found I found a place uh, when I was there uh, in the off season for a week. ATV up and down the mountains up in Park City. Cause I'm oh, like, yeah, you lit. Yeah, we lit. Like I ain't never Bro, did ATVs up there. You know, we did the snowmobiling. But I ain't mm-hmm. never do the ATVs. I was like, oh yeah. He's like, hey, you know, on the side, whatever, whatever. Don't worry about it. Like, I'm like, oh yeah. Say less. Say Damn less. More. We, we lit. We lit. Like that jump was definitely, <clears throat> definitely love. I mean, just playing in front of all those fans and those blackout games. We I mean, playing well, who we played when we played SC junior year. Mm-hmm. Man, junior year was our yeah. best year. Yeah, we were just gonna, we gonna win. It we were stacked, bro. Uh, bro. To to we me, to me, like senior, we was we five, like we number five, six team in the in in the country, whatever. But junior, we were stacked junior year, like top to bottom, offense, the defense, special teams, like we had it junior year, like we had mm-hmm. it junior year, like. We smashed SC, put like 40 on them when they came to the crib. But we was putting 40 on everybody. Everybody. We started yeah, off yeah. rough. We started off yeah, yeah, rough. Yeah, because we lost the two. We lost to Washington and Washington and State. And Washington State. Lost yeah. to both of them. <laughs> but them boys was good, dude. <laughs> nah, them boys was, I mean, is, we, they, Washington was street, but. Washington State was nice. Open. I ain't going to lie. Washington State was doing some junk on offense. Offense. Wash, yeah, at Washington State. It was kind of. At Washington State. Washington, we we should have got at the crib. We should have got at the crib. We should have got. I think your boy, you know, your boy Snoop was, you know, dibbling, dabbling a little too mm-hmm. much in his head. He was, he was, <laughs> he was, he was, one hundred percent. He was dibbling, dabbling a little too much. That you he know, was. them boys say, yeah, we finna go blackout, eight o'clock game. That's what I missed. The, the late night games, Found ain't nothing like them mm-hmm. late night games. Mm-hmm. All these early games. Man, I be still trying to wake up in first quarter. Wake up, wake up! Ah, I hate, I hated the one o'clock games at Utah. Bro. We, hey, I, I don't think we ever won a one o'clock the game. Big games. <laughs> <laughs> hey, and somehow we always play Arizona State. Always, bro, always. every oh game. Oh my god, bro! I'm like, yo, can we get to eight o'clock? Junior year, I'm like, all oh, right, god. Bro, junior year, it was so <laughs> bright out there, bro. Junior bro. year at Arizona State, bro. I, bro, bro. It was I dummy was bright. It was dummy bright. They got away from us too, junior year. What? But, but nah, I mean, bro. yeah. I mean, the injury, I mean, when we, you went down that game, Snoop, when you broke your collarbone, mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. then I go down. Later that week. Same week, a couple of days yeah. down the line. 
but the thing, my, my the crazy thing is, my junk was already torn since January. I don't know if y'all remember, like when we was doing uh those PRPs, and I went out there, I was playing corner. Now I'm playing. <laughs> Uh, boy, I'm playing day. around. I'm playing around. I'm playing corner, and I I don't know what happened. Somebody tried to route me. I don't know who, but I, but I felt jump, but it didn't feel like no like no tell or nothing. So I'm like, I didn't took a knee. Joe, like you good? I'm like, yeah, yeah, I'm good. I'm, you know, it's just a little song. I'm kicking it out, bro. All the way from January, bro, to when that was pretty much like October or November, almost. Mm-hmm. I think it was October. My knee like locked on me like four times, like locked up, like ninety degree, like this. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, yeah, why that? Hey, why Snoop. ain't he doing that? Snoop, there's no. He was there that night. Yeah, he was there. <laughs> he played a game. He's sitting on the edge of his bed. So I walked past. He's like, he like, bro, I can't get up. I'm like, I was up. smashing him and Matt. That's what I was doing. I was smashing him and Matt. Like, I'm like, bro, I'm like, bro, shut up, bro. Just get up and walk. He like, bro, I really can't get up. I can't straighten out my leg. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, bro, yeah. like Snoop, hey. he can't do this, bro. He I can't kick. Not. I'm like, oh, oh bro. Snap. The crazy thing was, like, I'm playing this man in Madden, and I'm telling myself, because I had did it like that before, like, getting into my bed. I already had them did it like that once before, but it kicked, like, I was able to kick it back out. So I'm telling myself, I'm like, yeah, let's not do that again. <laughs> but I'm playing this man. I think he beat me, so I'm like not even 100 focused. Mm. So I get in the bed just like that again. I'm like, as soon as I did it, bam, on cue. I say, oh, oh snap, boy! I can't. Bro, I was there to like almost two in the morning. That was like nine o'clock. I was there like two in the morning on the edge of the bed, working this jump. I'm I'm on YouTube <laughs> trying to figure out how to get it out. Like nothing, nothing. So I'm like, oh, what the hell? Then I had to go to the hospital and all that type of jump. But I mean, it happened for a reason because I mean, I probably would have left junior year. You feel me? Like I probably would have would have left because like I was, I'm, bro, I'm like it's crazy because like that was our best year, bro. Like mm-hmm. as a team, as a team, like we was finna beat Washington in the Pac-12 championship, and they still almost beat them. Mm-hmm. I think it was like 10 to 3. 10 like to they 3. still almost beat them. Mm-hmm. Right. So I was like, yeah, if I don't hurt my knee, I'm probably gone. Right. But then I do that. And then I'm like, damn, do I come back? Because it's like, you know how it is. Well, we've, we ain't thinking four years. We're thinking three and out. Oh. Right. Like people always, like I always tell people, like, yeah, like, the whole thing about college when we was thinking about college is three and not like you're not really 100 percent what we from we're not thinking about a degree right like mm-hmm. nobody telling you about no degree anybody yeah go to college get your degree True. like that ain't it like we ain't talking about no three degree. and not three and out. <laughs> yes go to the league get that money that would that's what they tell you don't worry about nothing else so in my head that's all i know that's all i know it's three and not and then i'm like Man, I don't know what I should do. But I'm like, man, I know we got a stacked team for the next year. Like, we stacked. We deep. Like, yeah, we losing a few guys. Like, we had uh, Junior. We had we had Cody and Chase. Yeah. They was – Marquise, Corian. Like, them boys holding it down on the defensive side of the ball. And I'm like, man, I know we got some – still we got some, you know, some young boys that's going to, you know, step in those roles and just steal ball and everything like that. And I'm like, man, I got to come back just to try. And we got to get this thing. We got to try and get this thing because it yeah. was too sweet. It was too sweet. And then you fast forward to the Pat, the Oregon game. Oh, man. Fam, it's it's because, bro, we played on Friday night, fam. I'm telling you, we played on Saturday like everybody else. Whatever. Man. Because, yeah, that's because they did the Pac-12 there. They put us on a Friday mm-hmm. night. On the Friday Everybody else play on Saturday. So we I don't even know what went wrong in that game. Like when you look at it, early. when you look at it, yeah, they did. When you look at it, it's like, man, I don't know. They weren't doing nothing special. They weren't doing nothing special. Or they weren't nothing, doing special. nothing special. I turned that bitch over twice, bro. 
I was. think I think like just that game for everybody was just like we knew like what was at stake and having our last chance at it. I think like everybody because I remember looking at some dudes on the sideline, yeah, like spook. Spook. Bro, that's big. Bro. spook, like getting mad Good at love. things that we usually and, wouldn't and get it, mad about. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie, it wasn't just the players neither. Oh, good. You ain't gotta yeah. tell me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was just hey, the you, ain't gotta, um, you ain't gotta tell me. Yeah. Cause like if you think about it, like I get it. Now that I look back at it, because when like when it first happened, I was hot. So I'm like, bro, like come on. Like we like the whole year we already knew we had to play Oregon. Like it wasn't nobody mm-hmm. else coming out the uh at the north. We like, yeah, we finna play Oregon. Like mm-hmm. at the end of the day, that's what it is. And then in my head, I'm like, yeah, they're a little sweeter because I think they lost the SC mm-hmm. or Arizona State back in the back end of the year. So I'm like, yeah, they're a little sweeter now. And I'm going in the game thinking, yeah, we finna, it's gonna be a good game because they got some boys on offense and they had a they had a pretty good defense. I'm like, but it's gonna be a game. But I don't know what happened. Everybody was things just was like, like the moment was too big or something, yeah. and like. Dudes is on the sideline, real life, like getting mad about things that we never get mad about. Then saying, "Oh, it's blaming, you know, this set of guys over here, blaming this set of guys over here." And I already knew them. Like, man, we we ain't really locked in a hundred percent, kind of like how we needed to be for that game. Because I remember I watched that game like just like a regular, like on TV. I'm like, bro, ain't no way in the world we lost to these people. Not like that. They they had to beat us on the on the last second throw or something, not yeah. like that, because we would have been in the playoffs. Yeah. They would have yeah. had to put us in the playoffs. The way we was, mm-hmm. we play, ran like eight play eight play LSU. And and Bama lost that that week, I think. Or, yeah, or the week before or something like that. Like we had one like seven eight games in a row, putting up forty a piece, rolling like just rolling through. So I'm like, man. But we definitely did change the whole culture there. Like, no matter, you know, and I'm gonna say it, it was us three that changed it. Like, people, we had a lot of good, good ass players that, you know, played a huge role. But when it came to the offensive side of things and, you know, who they looked up to kind of to get things rolling, it was us three on the offensive side because, I mean, we all had a a pivotal role on the offense, right? Like, obviously, mm-hmm. playing, you know, Snoop being the quarterback, me being the running back, and Demario, you playing receiver. Like, we we already knew who the go-to guys was on offense. So, to me, we changed the culture. And you're right, Snoop. We definitely legends uh, at that school. Like, when you think about it, like, they going to real life. Like, when we, we can go back there. 10 years, 20 years from now, and people still going to know, you know, who we are, what we did, um, you know, and our names, and it's going to be love still. And, you know, like, that's a place that I I never have a problem. You know, some people, they go, they graduate from a school, and they never want to go back to the school, right? Like, you know, you always hear that. But, like, I feel like for us, we can always go back there no matter what, kind of don't matter who the coach it is, like, if, if it's wit. Or if it's not with, like, I feel like we can still always go back there. Um, and I mean, I'm hot that they did the whole stadium. The uh, that thing mm-hmm. over that thing a little hard. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> Limbo leap. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> it it looked nice. I'm like, damn, that thing looked nice. And the new unis, the boy got new unis and everything. Oh, what? All white throwback. Oh, uh, white like, throwback. I'm like, man, that don't make no sense. That don't make no sense. But nah, definitely being in Utah was some of the best times. Um, I'd be still thinking, like, man, I need to. I wish I can go back to certain times. It's good that time. I tomorrow. I don't know. If you remember? We used to. Uh, I think it was like when we had PRPs in the summer, and it was dummy hot. Dummy hot. We used to stop at the little uh, icy spot. And pick up the ice them every time. Big ass ices. Big ass ices. Go to the crib and just sit there and play mad all day. They ain't think about nothing. 
Mm-hmm. Nigga wasn't doing no school work, no nothing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not wasn't, doing, wasn't doing none of that. Wasn't doing none of that. But I yeah. feel like that was those times is unmatched because at those times we ain't had no care in the world. Like, we were just vibing. I swear. I swear. Like we weren't worried about this over here, that over there. Like ain't nobody was bothering us about nothing. Like we could just mm-hmm. focus on us. Focus on what we need to do, and then just enjoy the people around us. Um, like that time went definitely, definitely too fast, in my in my opinion. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But yeah, <sighs> but man, transitioning to the to the uh, to the draft process. Um, I'm gonna start with Damari. Um, Obviously, you played four years at the school, um, and you did obviously because of COVID, and COVID was a whole nother thing <laughs> that came at the wrong time for so many people. Like it just, I don't even know, like how that even happened. Like that junk was just crazy, and it's crazy just to find fall like how fast from last year to now, how fast people kind of even kind of. Don't even think about COVID no more. Like you don't even like if you vaccinate, you don't worry about you ain't worried about wearing no mask. You ain't worried about. I remember when it first dropped. Why I wash my hair? Why I ain't never wash my hair like that? I was, <laughs> I was taking. Hey, they That's say thirty problem. seconds. They say thirty seconds. Warm water, move them over. I'm like, yeah, <laughs> yeah, I got you. Don't worry about it. Yeah, and like that time that that happened because it ended up canceling a uh, pro day. Right, like mm-hmm. everybody went they separate race after the um after the bowl game um to Texas that we obviously nobody wanted to play in. Like we wasn't even there for that game. Like that was yeah. that was just like it's on the schedule. Let's just mm-hmm. go out there and see what happens. Because <laughs> I know I was right. like, man, right, come on. Ain't nobody what practicing hard. We just out there. What? We just out there. <laughs> like, man, go on, I bro. That's <laughs> what so like we went everybody went their separate ways and and then you know you you working for the process and all the type of stuff and then COVID hit and then it spread dramatically and they like yeah we can't have a pro day right like i was looking forward to the pro day just to see everybody right like mm-hmm. we always remember going to you know being underclassmen we going to the yeah. pro day just seeing everybody do their thing right like now it's your turn to go out there you and, day, and you can't do it because of something that you can't even control. And then the thing is, we didn't even get it moved back. We didn't get it moved to off site. Like it was just gone. Like 2019 pro day never happened. Right. Like tell me, tell us, you know, how that, how that affected you. Um, and then just like your feelings on that. <clears throat> Well, first and foremost, I'm going to start out by saying I don't blame COVID for not getting an opportunity. I'm not going to blame COVID. Mm -hmm. I feel like I didn't do enough throughout my college career. Yeah, I played every game. I played all four years. But I just feel like, personally, I feel like I ain't doing enough. Because if I did, I would have had the opportunity to get picked up. So, honestly, I'm going to just throw that out there. Secondly, yeah, uh, Pro Day could have helped. And it affected me tremendously. But um yeah, bro, it was crazy. Like just watching the draft, watching y'all get drafted, that was like I was more so happy for y'all. And that took my mind off of COVID and everything. Once I seen y'all get drafted, and once I seen Snoop got picked up, bro, like I was like happy as hell, bro. Like dumb happy. And I forgot all about COVID. I forgot all about Pro Day being canceled, everything. And then it wasn't until like a week later, well, it really hit me. I'm like, bro, I'm training. Like, I like while I'm training, I'm thinking about I'm really training probably for no reason. Like, I don't know what's going to happen. I'm just out here training. No money, but I'm out here spending, like, my savings on training. Like, all my money is, like, probably going away to waste. And honestly, it did go to waste. Do I take it for granted? No. Cause I tried it. I tried. I trained twenty nine. What twenty twenty? And then the next year I trained again. 
thinking that Utah would have a pro day. That's the COVID year. And then nobody came out, so they they didn't have a pro day again. So I asked Roderick for BYU, the office coordinator, yeah, who was our right. office coordinator our freshman year. He hit, he hit me up and was trying to get me to do a pro day with uh, Zach Wilson. Yeah. And then that's when COVID spiked again. So BYU, like the whole program was like, they can't bring any players from outside the program in to do the pro day. Yeah. So after that, bro, everything just, I was like, you know what? I'm going to just hang it up, bro. Because <laughs> to me, like, I was always excited to have a B plan. I knew what I wanted to do. I knew I wanted to be like a trainer or stay around football, something athletic, stay moving. Yeah. So I like the transition was hard because I really loved the game. I didn't want to like leave. So I was depressed. I faced demons and all that. I did all that. But I was like strong enough and I was close enough to God to where I was over, able to overcome a lot of adversity as far as like finding the next step, finding me. Because all I knew was Damari as a football player. All everybody else knew was Damari the football player. But even me, like I didn't know who I was outside of football until it got taken away from me. And yeah. I feel like everything happened for a reason. I think God took it away from me for a reason to find myself and know who I really am and know my value in this world and it's to help other people. So that's what I'm doing right now. I'm helping other people reach their potential, reach their goals. I'm training athletes, base, pro baseball players, pro football players, the general public, and just putting people, pe- putting smiles on people's faces. And that's what make me like happy. That's what get me going every day. That's what get me up five in the morning to go to the city and train people. Like, I love what I do right now. And I, yeah. I'm just grateful. So it's all good. It's all love. Yeah, I think that's that's dope, bro. Um, I mean, yeah. I know how hard you work because I lived with your ass for about two and a half years. <laughs> and, and like it's crazy because it's like people always ask me you know how's the league and all this type of stuff and i'm like man i know so people some many people that were either you know work harder than me that uh are way more talented than me and didn't you know have a, you know make it for tons of reasons but like you said like people were always when you play football for so long people just it feel like you got a football tattooed on top of your forehead and that's all people see is football 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 and that's why i think so many people have a hard time like athletes transitioning you know like dudes that play in the league for x amount of years now when they get out of the league mm-hmm. they don't know who the hell they is because all you've done your whole life for 30 years 20 years is play play football right and like i think that's the hardest thing to do is transition over and you know i mean like i said like i lived with you for like two and a half years so i've seen how hard you work like you would literally wake up 6 a.m in the morning and go do a workout in the summertime and i'm like yo why is this man up because you can hear the flow creaking i'm like bro why is this man up this early and then by the time you wake up i don't wait to mcdonald's got me and mcgrill i come back this nigga just walk back to the house i said no <laughs> what is you doing <laughs> And then he started eating a certain way, and all I'm like, dog, I wish Killer was on his still because Killer get a test. <laughs> like this man was eating, you know, super duper clean. Like before, like eating clean to me was any, uh, even a thing. Like now, like you ain't gonna believe it, but now all I eat is salmon. I don't eat nothing no. Like I don't eat steaks no more in season, anyways. I don't eat steaks no more. I don't eat no yeah. like no pork, nothing, right? Like all I'm eating mm-hmm. is salmon. Like that's it, right? Like, cause I'm like learning my body and you know, just investing in all that type of stuff. But in college, that I would eat Taco Bell, Wendy's, Chipotle, truly gummy worms. <laughs> it don't matter what it was, right? Any time of the year, like you know what I mean? But like, like that's 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 dope though that to see you. You know transition because that's that takes some time for a lot of people a long ass time to figure out kind of what they want to do mm-hmm. and then to figure out what you want to do and then be happy in it and still be servicing people um you know and you know in a certain way that still t- ties you into the sports um so yeah no that's that's sure. dope bro shout out to you for that um appreciate it bro you already know so snoop for you, 
You know what I mean? You didn't get an invite to the combine, which was like to me just crazy because I remember they like invited this dude. I don't know what school. I think he went to Harvard or some school like that. They invited him to still come there. And I'm like, bro, they don't play football in Harvard. Bro. <laughs> like, what is y'all doing? <laughs> right? Like the people they was, I'm like, that don't make no sense to me. And we just had the number five team in the country, right? Like, who you think running the show? Hmm. Right? Like, mm. you know what I mean? But I think for you, like, it's like it's kind of your life. People always kind of overlook you. You know what I mean? Even in like high school, like you should definitely have way more offers. But as soon as you know you did ball, and people decided to put some type of notice on you, putting get giving you the Gatorade Player of the Year, now they want to come late. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? Now it's too late. And then even in in college, you did your whole thing while you were there, and then you don't get an invite to the combine to showcase what you can do. And now. You know, you go through the whole draft process and you end up getting signed by the Ravens. And then fast forward to our playoff game, uh, when you step in, uh, and, and this nigga almost beat us. I'm like, yo. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, I, I tell you, no lie, bro. Like, no lie. One of my coaches, uh, Cause you you know you just did your thing in the whole preseason like mm-hmm. snap like snap <laughs> like going stupid right and he's like bro who is this I'm like that's Snoop he's like oh, 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 oh that's the boy you played with I'm like yeah yeah he's like that's the same dude that stepped in uh, when we played I'm like yeah I'm like if you ain't missed that pass to Hollywood. Mm-hmm. I'm like, man, it'd be a different game. Oh, God. I, I, I remember the game because I'm like, damn, Clyde just broke my ankle the week uh, the week before. And I was hot because I'm like, damn, because I know he was going to play y'all the next week. And I'm literally at the crib because they wouldn't let me come to the game. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, damn, I ain't even going to be able to see him. I ain't seen your ass in a smooth year. I saw, I saw, I saw. <laughs> like, a, like a smooth ass year. And then I'm watching it on TV. And you out there running around doing your thing. I'm like, oh, that's yeah. like it's crazy because I mean I played you for four, five years in a row. Mm-hmm. Five years in a row. Right. So I'm like, damn, to see him doing that against, you know, us, who I felt we was, you know, obviously the best team. That's why I felt, because obviously I play here. But to see you doing that and then to finally see you do what you did in the preseason. Um, and you know, just putting the league on notice because I ain't gonna lie, you had people in our building talking. That's just you know on my side. Like you had people in our building talking, but you know, tell us about you know your draft process and all that. Uh, yeah. Like my draft process, like yeah, the COVID, COVID and everything messed up the my visits and the pro day. You know what I'm saying? They messed up all that. But I just, I just think, I think. Otherwise, like, that ain't nothing but God, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I was going through the process, like, yeah, I was ready for the process, and I wanted to go to Kamon and everything. Like, that's always a childhood dream, but, like, yeah. at the same time, too, everybody that come from the, the combine and stuff or stuff like that said they, they'll never want to do it again, you feel me? They happy that they did it, but they never want to do it again because they... They work them all day and everything, and I just know me as a person. Like, you know what I'm saying? What I put on the field, that's that's football. You know what I'm saying? Everything else is not football. We just talking about it at this point. You feel me? Like, so like that's why I was always given the opportunity to just show what I could do football wise, and and that's just God. Cause like y'all know me, I'm not a talker. You know what I'm saying? I, don't, I don't talk the best, like you feel me, like none of that. Like I can't just sit there, you know, pick a person to think I'm, you feel me, like something wrong with me. The way I talk, you know what I'm saying? Just how I talk to everybody, but like you know what I'm saying? Everybody know me, like I'm genuine. Everything, like God, and so God put me through the best, best process, best. You feel me? I'm playing behind LG, Lamar Jackson, like you feel me? We played against this man in high school, like you know what I'm saying, like yeah. And I'm, I'm getting, I'm able to learn from him. 
You feel me? That's like that ain't nothing but God, man. I just put it like that. My my drive process was God, bro. Like that, was, and he just he just brought me back to you feel me? Like not even saying that like he just put life into perspective for me. Like yeah, it ain't just football. Like the Mark said, it ain't just football, fam. It's about family, <clears throat> family. It's about love. It's about all that. Like I learned all that during the drive process. Like when COVID hit, they they. They had nothing. They, they ain't tell us we were working out, no nothing. We ain't, gonna, we ain't even got a field to work out like. So it was like, Truly. dang. I really went up to Georgia with my mama and them. And that's the longest I've been with my mama and them for like four years. Like, yeah. And I thought that was, I was like, bro, I learned so much from that, just that situation, how much I miss my mama, like how much she cook, how much I miss my old boy just coming home. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> he just coming home. We throwing, we throwing a little ball like we used to do when I was a little kid. So I'm assembled there. My, my oldest brother come back. You feel me? My little sister's like, you know what I'm saying? Like all that, like it, it just all that shit, it just weighed on me when I, when I was going through the process. And it was just like, I can't, I was able to breathe again. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It seemed like every day in Utah, like, I was just trying to be a man. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to be the best man. Like, I'm trying to be the, the best I could be, you feel me? So, it was just, it was just, a, it was able that I could breathe, you feel me? I was able, I ain't do nothing from whenever, whenever we start working out. When we start working out, Damari, I perform. Oh, no. It was, they just, they just up and said we can't work out. So, can't work out after no that, way. I was... You feel me? I was up in Georgia until the Ravens called me. You feel me? And it was, it was just, it's just a blessing. Like that's all God. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. When I seen you went to the Ravens, I was like, yeah, that's the best fit that you could possibly go to. Like, like you said, it is all God. Like God definitely put us on the same route from high school to come together to go to college together, play four years together. Uh, you know, learn from each other. You know, on and off the field. And like you said, grow up uh, by ourselves, essentially, Mm because we didn't have, you know, our mom, you know, our dad or, you know, family members to just fall back on. Or, you know, if we was going through something, we couldn't just up and catch a flight Mm -hmm. for a lot of reasons, for prices, (laughs) Uh, Mm, hella hella long, five hours by itself. Um, So, you know, God definitely just been guiding us in the right way uh, because, like you said, like football is football. Like we all love to do it. We all wish we could play, you know, for for 40 years. Like it's just all we've known is all we've done since we was little. So all we know is just to go out there, have fun, and compete. Like that's just a part of us, right? And, you know, like you said, like being in COVID year, um, you know, and going through that whole process and learning, I think that was the biggest thing for COVID for me is I got to learn more about myself. Like, like I didn't, like, I didn't go to, what was I? I was in Cali where I did my training at. And when COVID hit, I was in Cali, so I couldn't even leave. Like I really couldn't go anywhere. Cause I didn't know, you know, uh, you know, people, you know how the crib is COVID, whatever. We still outside. Like, I wouldn't even like, I was like, man, I don't know if I should go down there because I don't know how bad it is. You feel me? Like, I don't really know what it's all entailing. So, I was in Cali the whole time of COVID, right? Like, I didn't get to see my mama. I didn't get to see, you know, my brothers, my sisters, my little nieces and nephew, you know. So, I was just really, me and Jess was literally just thugging it in Cali solo. Like, the only people we knew out there was, uh, one of my uh, homies, one of my cameramen, um, and uh, my eight, two of my, both my agents, and that was all we had out there. Like you know, Cali was smooth and everything like that, but like just being away, you know, you really understand because I didn't, we didn't know we was gonna play, you know, football that year or not. Like once you know the whole draft process was over, like you know, we get thrust into an industry where, you know. Like the players, all these older dudes, the vets, they really be, you know, stepping up and talking, right? Like, so as a rookie, I'm just sitting back, like, shit, I don't know what we finna do. <laughs> like, I don't know what we finna do. They like, well, we play, like, in the season stop, y'all don't get paid no more after that. If you don't play, you may not get paid. Like, 
you know, they holding back all this type of stuff. No fans. Fans having no fans was the weirdest junk in the world. Like, mm-hmm. cause like <laughs> I don't know what it was, but we had no fans in every game at our stadium. Like mm-hmm. until we ended up having the two playoff <clears throat> games, though, we had no fans. Like it was so boring. It felt like it was less than a scrimmage. That would have felt like me. Like the only reason I could even focus to play was because I knew I'm like, damn, if I fuck something up, they go say something on film. So I'm like, let me not fuck nothing up. <laughs> That's all I'm thinking about is like that eye in the sky. I'm like, man, on Monday at 2 30, let me just make sure nobody say nothing to me. Cause it ain't no fun. You don't got no juice. Mm-hmm. Like, you know what I mean? Like, in the same environment that you know, right? Like you kind of just feel like you just kind of just doing something, like you ain't enjoying it and stuff like that. But def- COVID, that COVID year definitely, you know, helped a lot of people, I think, just in finding themselves, finding new routes, finding mm-hmm. new goals, um, enjoying more people. Because now, you know, you can't leave the house. You're more intact with those people that, you know, as we get older, like family means so much more. Like when you're 16, 15, you know what I mean? You you know, now you like, man, let me do my own thing. Like, man, family be tripping, mm-hmm. you know, blah, blah, blah. And they still be tripping to this day. But like you don't like you enjoy yeah. it more. I think like now when we do have a little time off and all that type of stuff, and we get to see the family, I feel like those times it's even more uh, like memorable because we was in Utah for four years. Like I mean, I think well we went home maybe three times, maybe four out of four years. And if you accumulate all that time, if I think about it. Maybe we had like it was two months combined in four years that you know what I mean that we was able to go home because obviously our people just didn't have the funds to just come up to every damn game or stay at at the school with you for a week or two like they gotta work they gotta do everything like that too so you know that time I feel like with COVID to you know be with your family uh, you know learn more about yourself kind of see who you are as a person um with everything else going on i feel like that time was a blessing um and a curse you know for all the other casualties that happened with it but you know but for me i feel like it was it was a a good time um just from when you put all those things together though but man i don't know where killer went but Oh, bad Wi-Fi. Man, <laughs> he probably in there looking at his screen still. He don't know where we at. <laughs> <laughs> but nah, man, I definitely, you know, appreciate y'all hopping on, bro. Like, you know, I ain't been able to hang with y'all in a minute. It's been a long time. Oh, like a long true. time. Like whenever y'all trying to go to to wherever y'all at crib or Utah. Let me know, like, because I'm a, I'm definitely gonna be both places, and you know what I mean. Like, time, uh, you know, moves super fast. Like, it's already been, you know, five, almost six years since we played high school ball. High it's school already been ball. almost two years since we played oh, college right. ball. <laughs> Next thing you know, yeah. y'all gonna be popping out babies. <laughs> like, oh, he's talking about y'all. Yeah, he's talking about y'all. Yeah, you hey, you might put a jewel on the finger too. Hey, yeah. All of, hey. <laughs> hey, 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 yeah. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. <laughs> this ain't that type of show, huh? This yeah. ain't that type of show. Uh-huh. But, yeah. but nah, but like, like time really moved by so fast. And I feel like, you know, people will always forget to, you know, enjoy the company of those around them. You know what I mean? That, you know, people that are really there for them, like support them through it all. You know, you know what I mean? Like no matter what it is. Um, and I feel like, you know, being we'll always be connected at the end of the day, somehow, some way from our journeys and our paths crossing. Cause if you would have told 12 years, you know, playing little league football that Hey, all y'all can go to Hollandale. All y'all can go to Utah. <laughs> you know what I mean? And be engraved in each other's lives in five years. You're going to be like, 
for one, at 12, you'd be like, bro, stop talking to me. And then two, you'd be like, yeah, ain't no way in the world. Like that picture right there, you know, that's all wearing one, two, and three. Like mm-hmm. that was that was a good, good, good pick. Like, we're gonna be able to show our kids that. Like, and then mm-hmm. they gonna see that. Like, you know what I mean? Like, it's 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 gonna be crazy though, but definitely appreciate y'all boy hopping on with me, man. Definitely appreciate it, man. Y'all already know it's all love on this side. You already know. Same, bro. All right, ready, so. Yes, sir. No, bro. But love. hey, That's... rest in peace to twenty, bro. Rest in peace to twenty-two. <laughs> yes, sir. All yes, ready, sir, bro. man. Appreciate. Right, yeah, Go man. Rest definitely. Laughing, bro, for real. <laughs> no, I didn't hear you. I didn't hear you. <laughs> no, I didn't no hear you. but yeah, that, that's sad, bro. No. Oh. Man. Who do you say? Yeah, that whole situation. Man, no. that just gave me chills, bro. I ain't even gonna lie uh, to you. Yeah, rest in peace, man. Yeah, yeah, definitely rest in peace to them boys. I actually met Ty uh, right before our season started last year, before we had to go to camp, because I went out to Utah real mm. quick, and I trained with him. And you know how me and McDonald is. Like, we always talk, uh, you know, every single time. And he was telling me, I'm like, he's like, Man, we got a young boy in here. He liked that. I'm like, I'm like, okay, okay, because I know he be hyping them up. I'm like, yeah, okay, okay. Mm-hmm. And then I'm running routes with him. I'm seeing him move, and he remind me of DAC. You know what I mean? But like, but like just stronger. You know what I mean? Like and quicker and fast. Like everything just like times two. And I'm like, okay, now I just try to see what type of mental he got, right? Like, and then fast forward to the season. He starts snapping. I'm talking about yeah. snapping. Like off the hinges, like as a freshman. I'm like, like, bro, what's going on? I'm like, man, this nigga about to beat all my records already. <laughs> I'm like, God damn. And I'm like, man, yeah, he bro. is balling. But mm-hmm. and then they hear that what happened to him. Whoa. That was that was crazy. And then like, you know, people have been asking me the last couple of days because they obviously have heard about the story with a low. And I'm like, I don't even know how to explain it because it's just it's all so crazy when you think about like the story mm-hmm. about like they all they both went to the same high school, you know, Francis High School, mm-hmm. come to the same school. Uh, you know, Ty ended up passing away and he starts wearing his jersey number and you know, donate the whole scholarship to him. And then they just put his, you know, uh, they donate a whole row, a whole section in the stadium, um, row 22, to Ty. And then, what is it, the next day or the same night, a low ends up passing away on a just a crazy, you know, tragic whole thing with that. And it's just like, when I try, you know, when I tell people out here, when they ask me about, like, you know, all the stuff that's going on, I'm like, man, I really don't know how to explain it to you but i'm like yes, to think that to happen the last two years or a year and a half back to back you could only imagine like those people's you know their families and, and all that type of stuff because it's it's crazy it's definitely crazy but yeah man definitely rp to those those two two young dudes right there for sure but with that man just want to Again, appreciate y'all for hopping on with me um, and sharing the little insights, laughing. It's good to see y'all faces, man. And we definitely going to catch up. <laughs> we definitely going to catch up, uh, you know, yeah. when that time comes. But, you know, for right now, just want to say thank you for everyone uh, who's going to watch this, listen to this. And remember, we're on all platforms, Spotify, YouTube, and Apple Pod at Mosmo Show One. And this is episode three, the conclusion. Peace.